Baby, what lace? What lace wear? Today, we're going to be doing a no baby hair look. Something I don't do often on this channel, but I definitely want to bring more of because you cannot see no lace nowhere. So we're going to be playing in this loose, wavy lace wig from Delago Hair. It has deep parting. It is super gorgeous. This is the packaging it came in. It came with your elastic band and it also came with your wig caps. Now these are private label. This is actually their brand Delago. How cool. So first of all, this is the texture of the hair. It's pre-plugged. It's a gorgeous lace wig. You know, your standard three combs in the front, one in the back. I'm actually going to take the comb in the center out. It is pretty much, if you were to part your hair down the center, it would be like right there in the center. And we don't want anything to interfere with a flawless flat look. So this is what we're working with. You can see it's deep parted. I believe it's six inches. It may be more, but all the specs are in the description down below. Now you guys can see how thick I have my mixture. I'm going to use this to bleach the knots and it is BW Bleach and a 30 volume developer. And I just go ahead and take a hairbrush and I just paint it on. You don't want to press it in, but you also want it to be very, very thick so that it does not see through. I went ahead and left that on for about 20 minutes. I rinsed out, washed with purple shampoo, and I used used a deep conditioner probably my silicon mix now you can see here that there is no shedding in this hair of course you get natural shedding but it's very minimal the wig is pre-plugged and as you guys can see it is gorgeous everything about this one looks amazing but after you bleach your knots a great next step is to tint your lace I'm gonna take this honey brown color from a door this is a semi-permanent hair dye now there are no measurements for this, I just combined it with hot water. Your water doesn't have to be boiling hot, mine actually is. And I'm using a straw to mix it just because I don't want to use my actual kitchen utensils. Use a paper towel to measure the intensity of the color. You guys can see if you look back, the first time I dipped it, it was a little bit lighter than the second time. So the longer you leave your lace in the mixture, the darker it'll get, if that makes any sense. And obviously how much of the dye you use also makes a difference. I would say I use maybe three or four squirts. It's not an actual estimate, but you know, kind of just gauge it. You don't need to use half a bottle. So I went ahead and just dipped it. I really want to submerge so that the lace, all of the lace, gets all of this dye on it. And I'm just kind of using that straw to kind of push it in and make sure that every single bit gets the dye on it. Now the purpose of this is basically after you bleach the knots, you get a scalp-like appearance. But once you tint the lace, that scalp-like appearance will turn into like a skin-colored scalp-like appearance. And basically it's going to make it look like it's growing out of your scalp. So I only submerged it for a few seconds and I pulled it out and I was pleased with the color that I got. Now this is definitely going to blend with my skin. Amazing. I went back in and you guys can see I chose honey brown and when you compare it to my skin, it is definitely on point. So I'm going to towel dry and just compare and make sure it's what I like. And you guys can see that color mixture was much darker before. So all of that color kind of pulled from the water and it kind of just pulled onto the lace, which is to be expected. But now that you see the um, lace on or next to my skin, it is definitely an amazing, amazing medium to dark brown complexion so that when I put it on, it is perfectly going to blend with my skin. Now an alternative is the RIT fabric dye. I do have an old tutorial on me using that I kind of felt like when I would use that one it would not make a huge difference I don't know if I was just a little less experienced back then because it's been probably a year or two since I've used that um, but I do definitely personally feel like I get a better result with this adore dye I definitely will revisit the writ um, in the near future just to see if I feel a difference but personally I do feel like the adore is much better now if you are not my complexion and you get this color it may not look like this on you so use discretion and kind of get a color that goes mostly with your skin and that's the most important part is that whatever you use goes with your skin now as I'm rambling you can see that I've also been tweezing the hairline as you guys can see it came pre-plugged and it was amazing but because we are going to do a no baby hair look we definitely want to depend on the very front of this to not look boxy or too thick we want it to be nice and gradient so I'm just taking my tweezers and I'm just going from one side to the other side focusing on each section at a time and just thinning it out I don't want any bald spots I don't want it to be bald in general 
general I just wanted to in general just be more thin than what it came and again this is because I am doing a no baby hair look so it's great to just go back around and check and make sure you like your work and once you're satisfied kind of part it and see if you want to go back behind the hairline and kind of make it a little bit more gradient in this case I did not go to gradient just because you know for the sake of time and being lazy to be honest but I in the end was very very pleased with what I had so I didn't really feel like it was necessary but of course if you want to amp it up and take it to the next level that's definitely an option here I'm doing the pull method I just kind of wanted to break it up in the front so that it's again not too boxy and at this point I personally feel like I'm ready to cut off the lace I like to plug and tweeze the hairline before I glue it down and before I remove the excess lace just because I feel like I can have a better control over the lace frontal as I pull I can have something to hold on to and I can see my work a little bit better it just all in all works better for me and this is what we have I took a little bit of got to be glued I did not add an, an elastic band to this wig had I added the elastic band it would have gave me a more glueless um, appearance and it would have laid flat without even adding that glue and I'm just going around from side to side and making sure that everything lays flat making sure that the lace around the ears is flat and all of that and now here I am taking my edge control and I'm kind of just using it like you would use a gel to slip down your hairline or your edges and as you guys can see I am a creep of habit I started to make swoops for baby hair and I'm like no we're not doing baby hair I'm like maybe just a little bit on the side I'm like no no baby hair so you're gonna see um, throughout this I think right here also right here I started to make baby hair again and I'm like no baby hair so now that I kind of have the front slick down I can go ahead and style the remainder of the hair I'm using my wet I get this from Sally's and I just like to do use this as a way to define my curls um, I really 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 love this stuff mostly normally I would use like a cream based um, you know leave-in or styling product and this is not that it's more watery and it smells really really good and I absolutely love the way it activates my curls and when my hair dries it gives that wet appearance now again this one does have a very deep parting I decided to leave it as a deep parting just to show it off but normally I would do a curved parting but I kind of just wanted to show you guys what you get for your money you get a lot a lot a lot of a parting space and it looks amazing don't forget to thin out your sideburns and that's pretty much it okay so I am waiting for the hair to dry back up I do prefer my hair to be dry opposed to wet I actually hate wet hair um, but I love it when it dries, it looks so amazing. So today's video was all about bleaching the knots and tinting the lace for a more flawless look. Now you can definitely get a flawless look in many different ways, but I feel like when I really don't want to use powder and I don't want to do all this finessing and manipulation, I know from the jump off the bat, bleach your knots and you're gonna get the flawless scalp-like look, tint the lace and you're gonna take it a step further and have the scalp actually look like it's yours and you guys can kind of see a little bit of something there i'm just going to take a little bit of alcohol now this is best with like um super damp like tissue but i kind of want to get rid of that and you kind of just pat it out so i'll take it a step further today and i kind of went the no baby hair look now you guys know me i'm a baby hair queen i absolutely love baby hair i'm actually a little bit more self-conscious when i don't do baby hair which is why you never really see it on this channel um i feel most confident with no baby hair if i am doing like a center part where you really don't see the hairline too much but as far as the look goes um there is no powder in the parting you do get deep parting space with this i believe this is about six all of the details on this wig are listed in the description bar so make sure you check that out as well as a link to shop now let me know what you guys think of my no baby hair look if you're gonna do this no baby hair look the lace has to be the exact color as your skin or it's gonna give it away super bad so yeah I hope you guys learned something from this one again if you don't want it as full in the front definitely go in and thin it out going backwards you can definitely also like go behind the hairline but parting out the section that you would use as baby hair and then going and tweezing that out too so that it's not thinner just in the front but it's thinner and a little bit more gradient going back I'm getting super tongue tight which means it's time for me to go to bed but yeah don't forget to check out Delago I have everything listed in the description bar for you guys to check out 
Also, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this with your friends. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.